Last week, I was feeling pretty gross, so I decided to go to the doctor. I think I've got a bug dog. I feel really hot all the time. The first thing I'd recommend would be to take off that sweater. I don't see what the sweater has to do with anything. When it's hot like today, they'll make you too hot. That's your opinion. It's not just my opinion. Well, take those gloves off. How can you be sure I don't have swine flu? I'm pretty sure it's all the hot clothes. I'm boiling up, dog. I think it might be the plague. Stop putting on hot clothes. I'm sorry, I can't hear a word you're saying. I guess sweaters making you warm is hardly rocket science, but this is exactly the kind of argument people are having with climate scientists. Don't get me wrong, the Earth's climate is super complicated, and there's still lots of tricky questions that need answering. But at its heart, the global warming debate is the same as the sweater debate. We've known for over 100 years that the carbon dioxide that exists naturally in the atmosphere helps trap heat to keep the world warm, just like a sweater in winter. How are we so sure about this? Well, without greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, the world would be much too cold for comfort. But here's the problem. Over the last 150 years, we've added huge amounts of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Just like putting on more and more hot clothes, this will cause the temperature of the Earth's surface to increase to uncomfortable levels. And, while we keep arguing about it, the world keeps getting hotter and hotter. When a sweater's making you hot, you can just take it off. Unfortunately for us, carbon dioxide doesn't work like that. Once it's in the atmosphere, it sticks around for hundreds of years. So if we want to stop the world getting warmer, we need to stop too much carbon dioxide getting into the atmosphere in the first place. If a doctor told you something as dramatic as this, you'd probably want to ask for a second opinion. Maybe even a third, fourth, and fifth opinion. Well, a whopping 97% of published scientific research says the carbon dioxide emissions are the driving force behind global warming. Man, this climate change stuff is pretty depressing. If you enjoyed this, I would recommend you subscribe and watch Climate Adam's last video on sea levels and gin and tonics. Experiment time! For more info on the science behind this video, check the links in the description. And if you have any climate change questions, I would refer you to Twitter, where Climate Adam will do his utmost to answer your queries in 140 characters or less.